I need to ask you a question. Who are you and who do you want to become? When I ask you who you are, you'd be amazed by how many people can't even answer that question because they never really sat down and dug deep enough under the surface to honestly answer it. They truly don't know who they are. But if you don't know who you are, how can you even attempt to answer the question, who do you want to become? To know who you really want to become, you've got to know who you are right now. And I ask you these questions with urgency because the fact is tomorrow isn't promised. There's a lot of people who will go to sleep tonight looking forward to a tomorrow and tomorrow will never come. You see, time doesn't owe us anything, but we owe it to ourselves to analyze how we spend our time. We can't add years to our lives, but we can add life to our years. Take the time that you have right now to understand who you are. When you can establish who you truly are right now, then and only then can you understand who you want to become. And who you want to become doesn't mean who anyone else wants you to become. You were put here on purpose and for a purpose. And that is what makes you unique. There's over 8 billion people on this earth and not one other is you. If you're listening to this right now, I know that you're a dreamer. But the thing about dreamers is 99% of the people who have a dream go back to sleep with it. I need you to become part of the 1% of people in this world who become daydreamers, the one percenters that grind day in and day out to manifest their dreams. You see, dreams are planted in our mind every day, but it's up to you to capture them. Goals and dreams don't come from Amazon. You can't get what you want to become in this life delivered to your door by Prime overnight. So I ask you, who do you want to become? You know in your gut who that person is. Most people are too scared or afraid of failing to even try to become that person. Or to even take a leap of faith to attempt to better themselves. But if you write down a plan and the goals you need to reach to become that person, and do whatever it takes by any means necessary to get to that point, there's nothing that can stop you. A goal without a plan is just a wish. And we don't wish, we work. We need to lose the victim mindset and realize that victory has already been placed within you. It's time to pull it out. It's time to pull it out right now with all your strength. And don't look for instant gratification thinking you're gonna become who you were meant to be overnight. It's gonna take blood, sweat, tears, effort, energy, and sacrifice. If you can fully commit yourself to being that person and the work that entails every single day, not focusing on what each day brings, but focused on the big picture, I promise you, in six months from now, nine months from now, or a year from now, your life will have vastly improved. Once you know who you want to be and walk in your true potential, there is nothing on this earth that can stop you. If it's in God's will for you to be that person you envision yourself to be, it will happen. But like I said, God can give you the vision, but it's completely up to you to become that person. What comes easy doesn't last, and what lasts, it doesn't come easy. So be prepared for setbacks and barriers, because when we're being who we were truly designed to be, you will have a spiritual enemy who wants to stop you. The only way this enemy can succeed is through self-doubt and fear. They're both liars. It's an emotion. It's an emotion that makes your brain tell yourself you can't or you're not worthy. Today is the day that we fight. Today and every day after, from here on out, we don't surrender and we don't just survive, we thrive. Now hold your head up, close your eyes, and envision your true, future, authentic self. 
Do you like the person you saw? Now put your head down and grind your ass off every day until you become that person. That is who you are meant to be. And I don't care what anyone says, pain is your ally. Pain is a powerful tool. Would you prefer the pain of progress or the pain of regret? The most painful thing to live with is the pain of regret. Most people experience the slightest bit of pain and they throw in the towel, thinking that it can't be done, thinking that it's too hard. Too many people say, I could've, I should've, I wish I did this, I wish I did that. Change your mindset from what should be done or needs to be done to this must be done. There's no other option. If you give yourself options, you're giving your brain excuses to use against you and your mission. Have you ever heard a successful person who's walking in their true potential that worked, earned, and gave everything to their craft for everything they have ever say that it was easy? Did they ever say it wasn't painful? Did they ever say that everything worked out on the first try? Did they ever say they never had a bad day? If they did, you're talking to the wrong people. You need to excuse yourself immediately because that's a damn lie. If you come from nothing, you have everything that you need. I came from nothing and I can personally say that that hunger for success hits a lot different. And not just the hunger to succeed, but the literal hunger pains from not even having a meal to feed yourself or to be able to feed your family. It's like a lion's predatorial instinct to hunt. And lions don't starve, they eat. It's a shark's impulse from the smell of blood to track its prey. They don't starve, they eat. They eat or die. Pain is unavoidable, it's inescapable. It's going to happen, no matter what. But pain comes with a choice. Haven't you ever heard the saying, growing pains? Pain is growth. Embrace it. Are you depressed? Me too. Are you upset? Me too. Are you broken? Me too. Are you stressed? Me too. Are you tired? Me too. I am, and I own it. It's not just you. That's my life too. But do you want to be happy? So do I. Do you want to restore yourself? So do I. Do you want to be at peace? So do I. Do you want to be great? So do I. Do you want to be the best version of yourself? Well, me too. It's all painful at the end of the day. So which pain do you choose? Growing pains or the pain of regret? You know when your life becomes great? The moment that you decide it is. The moment you realize how great it is to even have breath in your lungs. You decide not to surrender to the negative self-talk and self-doubt. You decide to not give in to the pressure. You decide to not look for your answers outside of yourself because they're already inside of you. You decide by any means necessary to do you, but it's gotta be by you. Your actions, your efforts, and your attitude. That is what's in your control. I promise you that what you think may be a terrible life is someone else's dream life. No matter how bad you think things are, there's always someone who has it worse. So how long are we gonna complain? How long are we gonna talk about our problems and not do a damn thing about it? Time is the only thing on this earth that you cannot get back. Stop wasting it. Start making it count. Every day, every minute, every second. Your life is full of choices and each choice we make has a different consequence. You need to make choices where the consequences actually improve your life. We've all made those bad decisions from time to time and the outcome was obvious. And people want to act surprised when they have to deal with it. 
Like they didn't put themselves in that situation as a direct result of their own choices. Every action has a reaction. And when you're faced with a difficult choice and you know the right one to make but you don't take it, the outcome is 100% your responsibility. If you know better, you gotta do better. You live with your consequences and you gotta own them, the good and the bad. So the thoughts that turn into actions that you choose turns into who you are. So choose wisely.